So I recently had a conversation with a non-hiking friend of mine who's really interested in getting into backpacking. And of the myriad of questions that she'd asked me, two of them really stuck out and I thought would make for a good video because she's probably not the only person out there who has these questions. So the first question she asked was, if I could give only one piece of advice to a new hiker, what would I say? And almost immediately I said, test out your gear before you get on the trail. And I'll tell you a story that explains why that's the first piece of advice that popped into my head. My buddy Brian and I were climbing Mount Whitney and we'd made it to trail camp. We had just set up our tents and we were getting ready to eat lunch before we actually did the summit. And right in the middle of cooking, this woman uh, starts running around the camp, running up to all the different campers. And Does anyone know how to use this filter? Can someone please help me? Does anyone know how to use this filter? Does anyone know how to use this filter? And she had a brand new Sawyer Squeeze kit still in the box. And she had no idea how to use it. And this very kind gentleman from the Netherlands you know, pulled her aside and was like, ma'am, I have that same filter, let me help you. And he took her down to the lake and taught her how to use it and everything. And I, I just, I couldn't help but think, like, you shouldn't get that far into a hike and not know how to use every piece of gear you're carrying. Set up your tent before you go out on the trail. Set it up in your living room. Set it up in your backyard, in your front yard. Set it up in the park down the street from your house. But set it up and tear it down a bunch of times. You want it to be second nature. You want to be able to set it up in the dark. Because I can tell you from experience, especially on your first solo hike, the odds of you setting up camp in the dark are pretty high. And you want to do that with every piece of gear in your kit. You want to know absolutely how your stove works, does your stove work, how your filter works, Get in your sleeping bag. Make sure it's comfortable. Blow up your air mattress. Make sure there's no leaks. You know, test everything out. Because if you're home and you find a failure or you find a defect, that's super easy to fix. If you're out on the trail, that's just a thing you have to deal with for the whole time you're out on the trail. You certainly don't want to get out there and not be able to cook your food. You most certainly don't want to get out there and not be able to filter water. You don't want to get out there and find out you're missing a tent pole or you're missing your stakes. You know, test out all your gear. Play with it. This is new, cool stuff. Get your hands on it. Know how to use it. The second question she asked, it, I found it to be a little funny and I tried really hard not to laugh because... I didn't want to sap any of this enthusiasm that she had for diving into this new hobby or potentially diving into this new hobby. But uh, she asked, you know, what if I get out there, we, we do the hike, I set up my tent, and it just turns out that I hate backpacking. What then? And uh, it was a harder question for me to answer because that's not in my DNA. Like, I have loved the outdoors and loved camping for as long as I can remember. My first camping trips were so long ago that I actually don't remember them. I was just an infant sleeping on the ground with my parents in an old sleeping bag, no tent, no anything. And so, for me, like, I didn't know how to approach this question. So the advice that I gave her, and the advice that I'll give anyone watching this video... Don't go on your first trip alone. Find somebody who knows what they're doing. Find somebody who you trust. That's really important. You want to make sure that this is a person you're comfortable with. This is somebody you can hang out with. This is somebody that when things go wrong, you can count on them to help you fix them. So if you're somebody who's had those fears or had those questions and you found your way to my channel, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, throw me a like, maybe hit subscribe while you're here. You never know, some of my other videos might be helpful as well. We will talk again soon. Mm -hmm.